lost track. Here we go. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Hopefully we are there. Sorry, a few little technical issues, but hopefully we are all all right. Instagram seems to be behaving itself. I'm back in my kitchen after having a few days away at an amazing resort in Switzerland called Bad Regards, Grand Resort Bad Regards. And I was there principally to interview some of the well-being experts talking about thermal waters, they've got amazing rehabilitation people for sports, um, very interesting whole psychological, you know, the whole mental well-being, which we don't often find in spas, you know, we think about going to them for massage and, you know, mud wraps and things like that, but actually there's a new emphasis, I think, that's coming into a lot of spas now, which is looking at mindfulness and just switching off completely. Um, which, of course, I wasn't able to do because I was working, but I did get a bit of downtime on the Saturday. And, uh, yeah, you can see my peonies behind. And I just moved them, actually. They're rather lovely. I got these in... actually got them in the supermarket yesterday when I was doing the, the shop, the family shop for the weekend. Aren't they great? So my peonies are nothing like that yet. Anybody else got peonies out? I haven't got peonies. Hey, Rachel, nice to see you. So Rachel is our social media manager for Liz Our Wellbeing, and she's obviously manning Facebook, and we'll put up links to everything that I talk about. We can't link on um, Instagram, but if you go to the bio, you'll see a little button that you can connect, a little bit of blue type that connects to everything. And of course, everything you will find on lizardwellbeing.com. Now, when I got back, I was just driving around locally here down in the West Country, and I was really struck that even in in just a few days how much wild garlic had sprung up I don't know whether you're noticing that around and I know you can buy wild garlic online actually so for those of you who are in towns or cities and not able to have access to the countryside you can find it online and some of the specialist delis would also sell it but it really is an amazing natural plant this is some of the wild garlic that I um, picked at the weekend obviously if you are picking wild you've got some rules of foraging to follow always make sure that you've got the landowner's permission if it's not out in the absolute wild um, and also never take too much you know just take a little bit always leave plenty for the wildlife and the natural habitat and things like that but what I love about wild garlic is that you can really use all the plants so this is the leaf it looks a bit like lily of the valley that lovely leaf and then you've got the little flowers as well and the flowers are completely edible look really pretty sprinkled onto salad and they taste of garlic so if you're a garlic fan just get the little flowers and sprinkle them on and I just wanted to share with you something that I uh, started to do when I got back home here because as part of the Bad Regards experience they have amazing food in fact I think they're the only spa in the world that has three Michelin stars. Can you imagine? So they have uh, their kind of everyday brasserie, uh, which has one Michelin star. And then they have an amazing restaurant called Memories, uh, which is a restaurant run by Sven Wasser, who is an incredible chef, obviously, and he's just got his second Michelin star. So, you know, the spa is all about having a good time and getting well in every sense. It's not about deprivation. And they had some really clever ideas with food, some of which I filmed for YouTube. And I just wanted to bring back some new ideas, really, and sort of get, get fresh after having, you know, spent two years, basically, uh, researching everything from an armchair. <laughs> I much prefer to get out there and actually meet the people for real. Oh, interesting, Ali, you're talking about wild garlic pesto. Yes, with walnuts. Really good idea. And as you say, much cheaper than pine nuts. Oh, and it freezes, does it? That's really good. Yeah, of course it would do. So what they do at Bad Regards is they make all these amazing herb oils. Look at the colour of this. Isn't that fantastic? And so I managed to chat with um, Sebastian, who's the head chef of the Verve restaurant, which is the one-star Michelin restaurant. I said, come on, how, you know, how do you make these? Because these are so delicious. They have so many uses, which I'll tell you about. Anyway, he told me the secret. So you basically, you get all your herb material. In fact, what I'll do is I'll make this one So as we go. So I've got here my leaves. I'm not going to waste the flowers. I'm just going to use the leaves. And he was making them using parsley. You could do it with basil. He was also using lovage, which grows wild up in the Swiss mountains. It's also, I think, a traditional um, English herb, isn't it, lovage? 
So what you do is you just roughly chop your herbs. I've just got a handful of whatever it is you want to use. And I haven't tried it with basil yet, but I'm going to, because I think basil oil would make a really nice herb oil that you could you know, drizzle over mozzarella, over tomatoes. And basil doesn't really keep, does it, very well, so it's a nice way to find a use for it. So I've chopped my wild garlic. And then, interestingly, they use um, rapeseed oil, cold-pressed rapeseed oil. I actually prefer to use olive oil for pretty much everything. So I've got that in a saucepan there, and I've got my bottle of olive oil, because then we know that we're getting all the polyphenols from the olive oil, right? It's also a bit more stable if you want to cook with it. So you need a fairly generous amount of oil, just sort of enough to cover the leaves. And then you're just going to gently wilt them. You're not going to want to boil them or cook them too much, but you just want to have a little bit of heat just to start releasing the flavour into the oil. So I'm just going to, shall I risk it? Shall I risk putting it on the hot plate? Don't let me forget. That's what normally happens. Give it a few minutes if you can remind me. Um, and then once the herbs have infused into the olive oil, they actually use a thermomix, which some of you might have. It's a really expensive, like professional food mixer, which is incredible. So you could do the whole thing in a thermomix if you had one. Um, but I just used a stick blender. Here you go. So I just whizzed up mine. That was one I was doing earlier um, in a blender. And then you strain it. And then you end up with this amazing coloured, flavoured. Yeah, you're going to do the same with basil. Absolutely. You know, any herb. So they, they did it for all sorts. They had dill, they had fennel, they had lovage, basil. Um, obviously, they had wild garlic because that's in, in season. And just amazing. Can you imagine having a whole range of little jars or pots in the fridge of all these amazing herb oils? Because you're getting all the benefits of the herbs, which are full of all sorts of antioxidants and interesting phytochemicals that give them their unusual properties. And then you've got the goodness of the extra virgin olive oil as well. Super easy. And they were making dips. So once, thank you very much, Pen. Yeah, I will give it a little stir. Thank you. It's fine. I put it on the lowest setting, so I think we'll be. I think we'll be all right just for a couple of minutes. Um, and what they do is they use to make a dip. They would use something like cream cheese, maybe, or you could use a soft goat's cheese, and then mix in the uh, oil to flavour it. And then what they did was they put them in these little jars, these little mini jars, and then popped carrot sticks in there to make like little crudités. I would think it would keep for quite a while because olive oil keeps and if you're going to keep it in the fridge you know you could keep it in a little bottle it's got some little bottles here that I was using earlier whenever I get a nice little bottle of oil um, this had a speciality oil in it I just just wash out the bottles and keep them and you can sterilize them uh, and uh, <laughs> thanks Alexia Alexia yeah thank you kind words um, so yeah, I think, you know, you can, I mean, don't make too much. You wouldn't want to keep them for a long, long time. But just as you can make any kind of herb-infused oils, okay, I am going to check it now. So, yeah, so this has just softened nicely. I think if you were using a Thermomix, I think um, Sebastian, the chef, because that's how he makes it, I think he puts it on around 60 degrees. So you can see it's just, the smell is amazing. If you love garlic, which I do. Um, it's really good. So then, uh, this was one that I did earlier today, just to test it out, make sure it worked. Um, I'm just going to pop that into my little blender pot. So that's literally just wild garlic leaves, or as I say, you could have parsley, you could have dill, fennel, anything really. And uh, obviously basil. So that's, that's my little herby mush there mixed with olive oil. And I am now going to whiz it up. Let's bring it over here. I do have, when I was designing my new kitchen, I deliberately put sockets everywhere on the work surface because I thought I'm probably going to be doing all sorts of lives and things from my kitchen. Right, okay, so this is probably going to make a little bit of a noise. Bear with me. 
you see that? Really simple. Okay, look. And then nothing is wasted because what you do, I'm going to take one of these jars. By the way, thank you. I don't know who it was on Instagram, but I was asking where to find these little jars. These are little German jars called Weck, made by a company called Weck. Um, but she also popped details of an Irish company that supply jars, which you can look up online. I forget the name. Um, yeah, so this is a really interesting point here. Jennifer is saying, this is great to know because I'm always throwing out herbs which have gone off. Yeah, exactly. You know, you end up with a kind of straggly basil plant and, the, you know, the, the leaves aren't quite good enough to, to use in cooking, but you could just whiz them all up and get that lovely flavour. So then what you want to do is you want to get the oil out of this. So I've used a fine sieve, like a kind of, almost like a tea strainer mesh, really. And I'm going to put that directly into my little jar. And I'm just going to... Just push it through very simply. See it coming out here. There you go. So you can see all that lovely flavoured oil. Look at the colour of it. I mean, it's amazing. And think of the goodness, because it's just extra virgin olive oil with wild garlic. And so to make the dips, they were using cream cheese uh, or goat's cheese and just literally mixing it with a bit of oil and then you end up with this really delicious bright green dip. Or if you wanted to do um, a non-dairy one, you could use tofu and just whiz that up, just blend it with a little bit of your green oil. So that's making the oils. So that's what I did first thing this morning after the school run, came back and did that. Had the cold shower <laughs> after the gym. <laughs> so that's, my, that's the green oil. And then I thought, oh, okay, so you're left with all of this, which is delicious. This is kind of mush, isn't it? This is wild garlic and, um, and olive oil. So then I thought, oh, what can we do with that? Because I'm not going to throw it away and waste it. And of course, you could make a wild garlic risotto. So you could use it as the base for that. And something that I had in the spa, which I'm also going to try, because I don't eat a lot of rice, you know, I don't eat a lot of carbs, but I do eat quinoa. This is my quinoa. And of course, quinoa is, uh, or quinoa, whatever, you're supposed to say quinoa, aren't you? Um, this is a really good alternative to something like rice or couscous, because it's a seed and it's very high in protein. So if you're wanting to increase your protein intake, so I was going to cook up some quinoa with my leftover bits of wild garlic mush. So I will do that and I will put a picture on my Instagram and I might even decorate it with a few of these. Yeah, isn't that great? It's so simple. Nikki says, I froze some also and it was fine. That's the pesto. Yeah, so if you want a pesto recipe, there's a really good one. I think Rachel has actually just put it on the Lizelle Wellbeing Instagram stories with a link. So that's on the Lizelle Wellbeing website. So Rachel, perhaps you can pop it up on Facebook with the link. So again, that's a wild garlic pesto. But really good tip here uh, was if you don't want to use pine nuts, which are crazy expensive, you buy a little packet and it's you know really quite pricey, use walnuts, which are better value. I guess you could use any nut, couldn't you? You could use cashew, you could use almond I quite like almond pesto I sometimes do an almond and watercress pesto you know really easy anyway coming back to these little jars you can find these online so I just think in Switzerland and Germany they're just so much more into their fermentation you know they would at every meal there were pickles there's like sauerkraut obviously sauerkraut being I think native to Germany which is the fermented vegetables again we've got lots of recipes on Lizelle Wellbeing for that because it's so gut health friendly really good for improving our microbes and you can get these little jars and they make their own yogurt and kefir and all of that so I went online obviously immediately and ordered some which arrived straight away and then you can also get um, separately you can buy little wooden tops for them which is really nice, really nice thing to have. So yeah, have a little look at those. If I find them particularly from a good supplier, I'll pop it on my Instagram, just so that you can take a look. 
But then, yeah, so I've got my little bottle here. I think what I might do with this one, just see how much has come through on that. I obviously haven't put it all through, but I'm just going to take that. And where is my funnel? There I have a little funnel. So I might put that in there. Hopefully this is going to work. And then look. Look at that, all ready to add to salad dressings. You know, wouldn't that be great if you like avocado or beans or, you know, cold potato salad, anything really. Just got your little bottle of, you could put, make little labels for them. So wild garlic oil, put a green ribbon around it if you're going to see somebody, nice little gift idea for somebody. Yeah, really good. Anyway, it's a bit chuffed with that. So it's always nice to find new things when you go out and about and meet people. That's the whole point of it, is coming back with new ideas. And, you know, it really reminded me, because at Bad Regards, they have a lot of water treatments, obviously being a, a spa based around thermal water. And it wasn't so much the mineral content of the water, which does have a lot of magnesium, so it's very good for easing anxiety, but it was more to do with the temperature. And it was more to do with the change of temperatures. And it was really described to me the importance of having that coldness in the morning. And I know I, I put it on my Instagram yesterday. If you want to see a picture of me in a Baywatch style red swimsuit, literally coming out of the cold water pool. I didn't actually dunk my head under because I was going off to interview somebody. So I didn't want to get wet hair, but I kind of went up to here. And I think you can see the water droplets actually still on my skin if you zoom in. But no, don't do that pinch and zoomy thing because it's, you know, I was literally just coming out of the pool. Um, but it does feel amazing. And what it does is it shocks your body, obviously, because you're in cold. It's like going cold water swimming in the sea or, you know, having a cold bath or a cold shower. It shocks your body. And what they're saying is that small controlled shocks are good because they're like micro stresses. And we need a little bit of stress in our lives. We don't need an overload of toxic stress. Trust me, I've been there. Not good, is it? And I think all of us have had way too much stress and sadly ongoing for lots of reasons. Um, but we do need a little bit of stress, particularly if you can kind of hack into your circadian rhythm and that's the natural way that the body works. So for example, the body needs melatonin at night to help us sleep. It needs a little bit of cortisol, which is the stress hormone, to just give us that, oof, that little push to make us get on with things and to give us a bit of energy during the day. So what cold water does, first thing, and this is why you should really aim to do it if you can before about nine o'clock in the morning, is it gives you that little micro stress, which releases a little bit of cortisol, just enough to kind of get your circadian rhythm in the right place. And that's interestingly another reason why I try and get daylight on my face and on my eyes first thing in the morning. It's to do with the circadian rhythm. And that's actually linked to DNA and our mitochondria and how they work and how they respond to the sort of sleep-wake cycle. And there are a number of doctors and medics and biohackers who are really now emphasizing the importance of getting out in the fresh air first thing and having a look towards the sun, obviously not staring directly at bright sunlight, but looking towards the sun, particularly when it's low, so particularly at sunrise or near after sunrise, because the sun emits a different form of radiation when it's low to when it's high up in the sky. And it's that connection that is apparently doing something to our circadian rhythm and lifts our mood, gives us more joy and helps us to sleep better at night. So I just think it's really interesting knowing a little bit about these, the hormones, how they work. I think endocrinology is just the most fascinating form of science and obviously impacting in all of that. For women, we've got all our female hormones, we've got our estrogen, progesterone. Anybody watch Davina? last night talking about oestrogen. Who saw her second documentary? Who saw that? Yeah. Yeah, my daily routine, Alex, I have put it on, um, on YouTube, I think. I might try and do it again. Thank you, my ring. Yeah, my ring came from um, an antique auction. I bought it at auction. It's a spinel, which was a really popular Victorian stone. 
Um, oh, yeah. How about stuffing cannelloni with ricotta? That would be good, wouldn't it? And you could flavour the ricotta with the herb oil. Love all these ideas coming in. Um, oh, so Drake's Head said, I made your garlic soup recipe last year. Absolutely delicious. It is a good one. I'm not sure if it's on the website or if that came from the magazine. So um, we'll have to find out about that. Oh, interesting. You buy riced cauliflower at Costco. It comes frozen. That's a good tip if you want to cut down on your carbs. So I often will rice the cauliflower. You know, I'll just whiz it up in the food mixer until it gets quite um, pulverized. And the key thing is to just lightly fry it. Don't boil it or it turns into mush, like mashed potato, only kind of worse. Um, so you lightly fry it in a little bit of olive oil. And yeah, you could put the, um, or you could fry it in the wild garlic oil, couldn't you? Amazing. Love that. I will definitely, um, yeah, I focus on, on protein and fats. Um, so the jars are made by a German company called Weck, W-E-C-K. So if you put that into your search engine, then um, you should hopefully find that. Trish says, my ring matches my earrings. Stunning. Yeah, they kind of do. So these are my little wild rose earrings, my fair trade gold ones. So yeah, I'm feeling all sort of rosy and botanical today. I think there's 20% off, by the way, everything at Liz Old Jewelry. So maybe, Rachel, you could do a link. Um, Patricia says, hi from Northern Ireland. Hello, hello. Uh, cannelloni with wild garlic leftovers leftover ricotta and a tomato sauce on the top. Now you're making me feel very hungry. That sounds really good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, okay, Amy says, I tried to have a cold shower for 20 seconds yesterday, but I couldn't hold it for very long because of the shock. Well, that's the point. You see, you need that little bit of shock. So think mentally, prepare yourself mentally, saying my body needs this little kind of, because that's what's going to give me the right boost into my circadian rhythm for the day and what I do and this was a trick actually that I learned when I started doing cold water showers a while ago is start at the feet you know I'm not brave enough to just jump into a cold shower I can actually get into a plunge pool because that's I don't know somehow different and I've gone wild swimming and I've, I've swum with Lily who finds the cold water one of the only ways to get rid of her pain it just dissipates in cold water, but obviously she can't stay in there for very long. So I somehow find it okay to get into a pool of cold water, but when I'm at home in my own shower, I kind of, I'm expecting to have a really nice sensory experience with some lovely body wash and, you know, nice warm water, you know, coursing all over me and to turn it into a cold shower is a bit brutal. But start at your feet, just sort of get used to it. Turn the temperature, I do it right at the end, because they do say that you should finish with cold. You know, you can do alternate therapy, hot, cold, hot, cold, which is very good for kind of your veins and for toning your, your, the blood flow. But you should always finish with cold. So at the end of my shower, that's what I did this morning, did, started at my feet, quite a long time on my calves, because I thought, yeah, I can take that, that's fine. And then you get to your knees and then you think, mm, okay, I need to kind of work up a bit. And then, you know, focusing on hips and thighs, particularly if you've got any congestion here, puffy skin tissues, you know, it's really good and it's, it's free. So, you know, it's something that can be good for all of us. And then working up the tummy and then I do each arm in turn. By this time it's getting a bit kind of, <gasps> and then, you, then you've got to do your chest. Then you've just got to take a deep breath, do your chest. And then also a key spot, don't miss out this bit, okay, if you do cold showers, is the back of your neck. And I can't remember why, but there is, some part of, I don't know whether it's the parasympathetic nervous system, but I remember talking to an expert on this, saying that to get the cold water on the back of your neck is really important. So I did, I kind of turned around in the shower this morning and thought, I know this is important, I'm just gonna have to bear it. Uh, and then did my chest and tummy, um, and then lastly my face, finished with my face and neck. And so I guess that whole thing, it probably took about 60 seconds, maybe a bit longer actually, because I spent a bit longer on my feet. Um, but literally the minute I turned the tap off, I just felt this euphoria. I just felt just like so energized and I just felt so grateful and thankful to myself. I'd done it. So try it. C 
see how you get on. <laughs> Amy, but it's great that you did. You did 20 seconds. Victoria says, you've inspired me to do 30 seconds of cold at the end of my shower, working my way up to doing it longer. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't need to do 10 minutes at a time. I mean, if you want to, yeah, we're talking about Wim Hof here on Instagram, of course, you know, if you want to break the ice and, and jump in, you know, be my guest. But you don't need to if you're looking at getting that little micro stress for your cortisol to be beneficial. So, I don't know, extreme biohackers may say otherwise, but I think in the research that I've read, certainly, um, you just need to do that little bit, which is why it's really good. Devon Creator, you've tried five seconds, excellent, so tomorrow make it six, okay. Pen, I can only do about 10 seconds. Well, you're doing better than Devon Creator, obviously. Um, okay, Alexia says, in France, we call this the Scottish shower. <laughs> I won't go into why you might call it the Scottish shower, but um, we can make our own minds up for that. Um, Amy says, what can you do to get used to a cold shower and the shock it sends through your body? Well, kind of in a way, Amy, that's the point of it. You don't want to get used to it. You know, you want that, you want that <gasps> intake of breath. You know, that's the point of doing it. And you never get over that. And, you know, I've spoken to experienced cold water swimmers who swim in, you know, a lake or a pond or the sea every day of the year. You know, there are people who do literally break the ice and go in every day. And even they will say, you never get over that initial kind of, gosh, this is going to be hard. Um, but, you know, your mind takes over. And it, it really is your mind, mind over matter. Your mind telling your body that it doesn't matter how it feels. It's okay. And what I want to talk to you about today, particularly thinking about wild swimming and all those good, joyful, healthful things, is I'm going to show you the brand new magazine. For those of you that haven't seen it yet, this is it. Ta-da! There you go. Yay! <laughs> So this is May, June, and as you can see, I always write a few little words on the cover. Um, follow your joy, follow your joy. That is my message for this issue. And we've tried to pack it with as much joy and lightness and positivity as we possibly could um, and keep going on our social media with as much positivity as we possibly can. Because, you know, things are not easy in lots and lots of ways, um, but there are simple ways that we can all feel better, look better, and cope with greater resilience for what's going on around us. So anyway, this is the brand new edition. Let me know if you've got it yet. Has anybody had theirs yet in the post? It will be coming very soon. Uh, oh, who's this? Karen says, I'm two months into HRT, Liz, and feeling loads better. Yeah, we'll have a quick chat about Davina's documentary. I watched it. Um, I watched it last night, too. Um, you can't get oestrogel. I know, it's tricky. Have you used oestrogen patches, the Estradot? That's what I'm using at the moment. Um, yep. Oh, Alexia says, I always wash my hair with cold water. Yeah, that's a good tip, too. Uh, yeah, I do have cookbooks out, um, so being asked here about recipes, just, I don't know if I've got one in my bookcase here, I think I might have lent it to somebody, um, but I do have my yearbooks, actually I might have one, you bear with and I will be back momentarily. Um, yeah, so this is... Okay, we do still have, this is the yearbook two, this is actually the limited edition one which we sold out of, but you can get this, you can get the regular edition. This is the Lazar Wellbeing Yearbook, volume two. So it's packed with recipes and botanical ideas, and it's seasonal, so the first chapter is everything to do with spring, so we'll have wild garlic in here, I'm sure. Um, and then it moves on to summer, what's, uh, what's in season, and then it goes on to um, autumn and winter. But there's just so much in here. I do love it. And I thought that we had pretty much sold out of yearbook two. But I was having a spring clean in my studios, obviously having not been there, not been able to work there as a team for so long. I was having a bit of a spring clean and I found a couple of boxes. Yeah, I did. 
So if you want a signed copy, Rachel, I don't know whether it's live on our website. Maybe you could have a look. Sorry, I should have mentioned this before I started. Um, but we do have some copies. Oh, great. Thanks, sweetheart. You popped it on there. Um, yeah, so if you go to lizardwellbeing.com and have a look under books, you should see the yearbook two. I think yearbook one has long sold out. I think people can pick up copies on eBay or whatever, <laughs> some of the secondhand booksellers. Um, but yearbook two, I thought had just about gone, but we do have some. Okay, so if you want it, uh, then that is a just a quick little FYI. But the magazine, what I wanted to mention about that, two things actually relevant to today. Um, first, oh, it's we were talking about, somebody mentioned my earrings. So here they are actually, and they have 25% off. I thought it was 20%, but 25% off everything actually on the jewellery website, lizoldjewellery.com. And you just need to use the code for that. Is there a code? I don't think there's a code. No, I think it's just, there you go. Enjoy 25% off. There you go. And then there's a really good feature towards the back here, um, which is, look, talking about the joy of wild swimming. So there you go. I told you it was full of joyful ideas. It's not such a great picture. I love that image. <laughs> you can go with a bunch of girlfriends, that would be really good. But there's really important safety information as well, because you obviously have to stay safe um, when you're out and about. But a lot of uh, public pools actually now have cold water areas that you can, uh, you can go into various Lido's, for example, if they're outdoors. Oh, this is a great recipe too, which I'm going to be doing perhaps at the weekend coming. It's a black olive tapenade. Look, I can use my little jars. Put it in there. How great is that? So yeah, that's just um, Kalamata olives, which there's lovely juicy black olives with extra virgin olive oil, of course, garlic, capers to give it a little bit of a tang and some salt. And that keeps for a couple of weeks in the fridge, if you can keep it that long. My kids absolutely love it. And a little bit of sourdough toast or a cracker. Delicious. Anyway, so let me know um, if you have received your magazine yet. Uh, I am desperate to know what you think about it and do please post pictures if you tag me um, then I will pop them um, in my stories I will share so Victoria is saying has anybody else tried Palmera sandals yeah I love them in fact I need to get another pair um, Palmera sandals I might maybe I'll contact them actually and see if they want to do something with us because it's a team of two sisters, I think, based in Mallorca, is that right, where they're made? Great sandals. Um, I'll try and pop those on my Instagram as well. Uh, yes, I am going to be writing about my spa trip. I think it'll probably be in the September issue. I think that's probably when I will be writing that. And I'll also make sure that we have it on um, online as well. Oh, Alexia says, I ordered two pairs yesterday. Interesting, you obviously love them. So anyway, if you haven't yet subscribed and want to, there is still a great subscription gift. This is the MTHK I Vitamins. I took mine this morning. And that was with the amazing Professor Dawn. Do you remember her? I did a live with her when I was in Kenya. And this has the zeaxanthin and the lutein, which are the really important uh, antioxidants for eyes. And she was talking particularly about eye health as we age. So things like cataracts, macular degeneration. And this is a really helpful preventative way um, of dealing with that. Also vitamin C and zinc. And this unusual berry called maki, the maki berry from Chile, plus B6 and B12. Um, and she is an absolute expert. I really want to do another live with her. And she's also a great character. I know many of you remember her. But she is a senior consultant, a professor of ophthalmology. So a professor of eye care. She works in surgery, doing eye operations, day in, day out at UCL in London. And also at Moorfields, which is the big internationally renowned eye hospital in London. And she, together with two other colleagues, I think they're all professors actually, all three of them, um, have come up with these eye vitamins because they've just seen so much degeneration of the eyes and looking at the research they know that there's really good stuff that you can do about it they also do a spray for dry eyes 
which I've got, the MTHK spray. We do have a Liz Loves, I think it's 10%. Um, Rachel, I know you can pop details on Facebook, and you'll, you'll find the details on Liz Wellbeing if you want to buy some. Um, but you get them free, you get these free, I think worth about £30 with any new direct debit subscription. Okay, so um, that's something to bear in mind. Um, being asked here about magnesium and just general supplements, so thermal waters, yeah, they have magnesium, and it has been shown that if you put magnesium in your bath, then you can absorb it through the skin. It's very good for helping to calm and relax, so it's very good last thing at night. If you want a bath as part of your evening ritual for wind down, then that's a very good thing. Just make sure the water's not too hot, because really hot water will stimulate your body and start to kind of wake you up. So you don't want that, you just want to keep it just, you know, just above body temperature, just above blood heat, but just so it's nice and soothing. Put in some lavender oil and some magnesium. I like the Better You magnesium. I know they've done a lot of clinical trials with their stuff and we get a discount, which is always helpful. So that's 15% um, with Liz Loves on Better You. And actually they've got some really nice sprays. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking capsules and tablets all the time and my kids certainly don't. I find it much easier you know, before they run off to school, to give them a quick squirt of something. And also for older people who don't like swallowing or, or not so easy for swallowing. So this is the one that I use, it's their Better You. It's the 3000 international units with K2 that helps the absorption. K2, a really important vitamin, fat soluble vitamin. Um, and this, yeah, this gives 3000 units. And honestly, we use this, we all use this in my household. We buy this in bulk. And then the other one I really like, they've got, this is quite new, and this is specifically developed for hair, skin and nails, pretty pink pack, and this has in it things to support the hair, skin and nails. So this has vitamin C, biotin, which is a mineral that can help with healthy hair, pantothenic acid, which is a B vitamin, zinc, selenium, really important, a trace mineral and iodine, which of course we know is in seaweed. Many of us know from our um, lives and conversations with Dr. Seaweed. So that's all in that particular spray. So a really good one, I think, to, to have. If you want to try it, that's on the Better You website. Um, helping with anxiety, there's also something else that I have been trying out, which I know many of you talked about before, which I thought would be a good one to mention today because mine actually has just arrived and that's a weighted blanket anybody else tried a weighted blanket so my kids have weighted blankets um, particularly my youngest who's just turned 12 uh, and this these are the ones that I bought for my kids um, it used to be called koala it's now called cuddly k-u-d-d -D dot l-y can you say k-u-d-d -D dot l-y sorry it comes out backwards I know, Rachel, you'll pop a link up because we have got a discount. How much have they given us of these? Um, cuddly, we get, um, where are we? 16%, very precise saving of 16%. So in here, and I just think they're very good quality and they're very easy to care for. Oh, it's quite heavy. I have to say it's quite heavy. Um, but I even have one um, just draped over the sofa because if you're feeling a bit anxious you just want to calm down and unwind just to put that around you you know while you're snuggled up watching telly in the evening or whatever it really helps and I sleep so well under a weighted blanket and so do my children they sleep much much better so you can buy singles you can buy doubles they're not expensive um, in the scheme of things and don't forget you can use your 16% discount, which is really good. I think that even works when they've got a sale, which is quite handy. I think that's how I got mine. Um, and they now have, for the summer, because it's getting warmer, obviously, they have a cooling option. Isn't that clever? So it's got the cooling beads in. So you could just have a sheet over you and then have your weighted blanket that's actually going to keep you cool as well as anti-anxiety and help you have a better night's sleep. Genius. Really, really good. Um, yeah, I, I do use a weighted blanket. Don't use it all the time, but I definitely find that I sleep really soundly if I'm under my weighted blanket. I'm actually very tempted to get the cooling one um, because 
I just find duvets just too hot, you know, from now onwards. I do sleep with the window open. It's quite important to keep your bedroom a little bit colder than you might otherwise think you need, because that apparently gives us better sleep. Um, so, yeah, something to definitely take a look at. So that's Cuddly. Um, are they cuddly.com? Can't see. Let me just have a look. Um, cuddly. Uh, oh, cud.ly, is that right? K-U-D-D dot L-Y, cuddly? Maybe, maybe you can do dot L-Y. Yeah, that, apparently that's it, just cuddly, K-U-D-D dot L-Y. So Liz Loves, all one word, um, I think all in capitals, gets you 16% off, definitely. And if you are a hot sleeper, we do have a really excellent piece of editorial that's just gone live on Liz Our Wellbeing, all about how to keep cool overnight. So do take a little look at that, along with, of course, our lovely wild garlic recipes. And before I go, I should just say a huge congrats to Davina, my pal Davina McCall, for that great documentary last night. And also for Kate Muir, who has been a podcast guest with me talking about her brilliant book on menopause, which is such a great read. And she is the writer and producer behind those two documentaries. And really fascinating. I loved how Davina was able to move the conversation on and talk about risks of Alzheimer's, the importance of women during perimenopause, replacing declining hormones. I certainly wish I'd say, started my HRT earlier. I didn't start till I was in my 50s. I wish I'd started in my mid-40s when I started to have symptoms. Um, and also the importance of testosterone. Testosterone, so interesting. You know, as women, we make more testosterone in our ovaries than we do estrogen. So fascinating. You know, testosterone, you think of it as just a male hormone. You think that it's going to give you a hairy face and a deep voice. Um, but it's actually really important, not just for sexual function, but for brain health, for cognitive function, for memory, for crispness. Anybody here take... Um, take testosterone yeah absolutely it's in our brain Wendy yeah 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 really really important um, yeah yeah we will have a, a whole menopause chat soon but you know there's so many other commentators I remember when I first started talking about it when I wrote my good menopause guide book which must be oh gosh six years ago I'll just show you I've got a copy of my bookshelf so I keep running off um, but just to show you, I'm not sure if we've got any of these on our website. Um, this is the Good Menopause Guide. And that's when I first really got to, to meet Dr. Louise Newson for the first time. And of course, she has just gone on, you know, from strength to strength. I remember talking to her about Instagram, saying, no, you've got to do Instagram. You know, it's so important. That's where, you know, a lot of midlife women get information from trusted sources on Instagram. Um, so she started, and then, I mean, the rest is history. Her Instagram is amazing. I look at it every morning. So, yeah, so the Good Menopause Guide, um, I think it's probably cheaper online from online booksellers. Um, but if you want a signed copy, I think we have some on the Liz Our Wellbeing website. All my books are signed if you get them from the website. Uh, and we also have this one, which is the Good Gut Guide. So if you're looking at improving your gut health for summer, then I've just signed actually a stash of these that we have got that we can send out. And talking about guts, before I go, um, we, oh, I've just seen that we've sold out on, uh, of, the, of the Good Menopause Guide on our website, but you can get it online, so um, probably for a lot cheaper as well. So do go and have a look if you'd like to get that. But we do have downloads. So if you want an immediate read, for example, there's a very good one called The Truth About HRT, and I actually wrote that after writing this one because when I wrote this book there's just one chapter on HRT and actually it's the big question that everyone wants to know about you know the safety and all of that how to take it the different types la 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 so I did a download specifically on HRT so that is on the Liz Our Wellbeing website so if you fancy that taking a look you can download it immediately um, and have a good read but talking about gut health before I go just very quickly my last live guest last week was the COO of Gabriella Peacock Nutrition and we were talking about this which is feel great fiber 
Anybody tried it yet? This is the cognac, and it's the, the cognac plant, and it swells up with water inside your tummy so that you feel less hungry. And it's actually proven to have a claim for weight loss, cognac. Very few things do. So anyway, since talking about it on my live, I have been using it, and I have to say, it works. Definitely makes you feel fuller for longer, and is super healthy. So it supports digestion, it's got natural soluble fiber in it, and it tastes of Sicilian lemons. It's got a natural Sicilian lemon flavor. It's really nice. So um, I'm gonna be out and about this week, but I'm gonna take that with me because I think that is a very good thing. And we do have, yeah, 15% on their website. That's GP Nutrition, if you want to try it with Liz Loves. Only on, I think, your first order of single purchases. So it's just kind of to get you started. So if you haven't tried it yet, just put in an order, maybe just for one packet, see how you get on. Feel great fiber, 15% um, off. But obviously if you fancy anything else on her website with the discount, put it all in at the same time, because I think you can only use that code once on her website. So just a little bit of a, uh, a hack there that you need to know about. And then last but not least, one of my favorite British microbial brands called Microbes, which is literally micro and then BZ at the end, microbes. And I just have a spoonful of this every morning and it is just amazing. It's got 15 different families of beneficial bacteria. Uh, they've put interesting herbs in. This one's got moringa, marshmallow, peppermint, thyme. It's, it's just a really great little extra. You know, all these things are just tiny little differences that when we add them all up can help us to look better feel better, have more energy, have more resilience, feel better able to cope with all the stuff that's going on around us. Anyway, on that note, I hope everyone has a really lovely week. Thank you for being with me. It's lovely to be back, very nice to be back in my own space, you know. I and mean, it's great to travel and it's great to go and meet new people and see new things and bring new information and research back to the community here. But um, as they say, there's no place like home. So it's nice to be back. And I will be back with you live again on Thursday. I've got a great, a great guest actually with me in my studios live. So it'll be two of us on the screen, which is uh, excellent. And we're going to really focus on body firming. So yeah, so quite good. Very good follow on, I think, from all that cold water showering. So, but not body firming in any sort of, you know, Spartan way. This is body firming in a more luxurious, very pleasurable way. Okay, I won't say too much about it because I'll give it away. Anyway, I will see you then, hopefully. Tomorrow we've got uh, some new things going live on YouTube. Hope you're all subscribed to the Lizard Wellbeing YouTube channel. And if you're watching on YouTube, hi. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Lots and lots of good stuff there. And of course, the Friday Five podcast, um, which will be going up this Friday as well. So lots this week. I hope you enjoy. And thank you for being with me. Nice to see you all. Take care. Bye-bye.